pretty much impossible there to read what's being written, but I'll have a go. Let's put it up on the top one then. Or use my phone. Should we just use my phone? So we're going to be demonstrating my mobile phone as well. Let's have a little sit down to see if. Oh, yeah, that is terrible there. Because I cannot see what's on the camera. So let's just. Can we see me nicely when I sit down? Yeah, you can see me, I'm a bit washed out. Uh, I cannot see anything you're writing to me, which is a bit rubbish. I don't think there's any setup that would work well in this room. You can at least turn the microphone to face me, like that. I'm gonna go and get the other cloth. You guys who join my stream when I'm doing it in the studio know that I'm never here um, sitting chatting straight away. So hello Pennywise and hello Pietro. How are you both doing today? I'm just going to go and put some stuff away. Put the kettle on. We can all get the little comfortable together. leave these here just so I can show you what I'm going to be doing
how's that looking? That looks better. Right, I'm going to swap this so that I can see at least when someone's written something to me, even if I can't read it. Can you pop out live? The problem is you can pop out live chat on YouTube, but it doesn't really make a lot of difference if you pop it out. It's still small and hard to read. Just turn that screen off. I think it's just disconnected itself anyway. Well, let's just turn it off. Well, it's nice to know that Dancing Clown, Pennywise, is good. I didn't fancy sitting in front of the camera streaming. Right, let's make the cup of tea. This is too spiky, it's got to go. I'm going to turn the fish tank off. Oh, can't turn the light off. You can have the bubbles going. Hello, oh hello, 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 hello. Is anyone here? Stop the crackling. Diane.
it's so far away. I'm gonna have to. Get, I'm gonna have to go on to. Now. I think I've got a tablet. Let me go and get the tablet. If see if it's got a flat battery in it or not. Well, that's not gonna work. So the only way I can watch read that over there is to get up and come over and say. Hello Ronan Boyle, how are you? And I can try. Okay, that looks like I can read that from the other side of the room now. Oh, hello Ronan Boyle and hello Pennywise and hello. The problem is I now can't see my video. I hate YouTube. Demonetized. Why can't they just make it? There you go, I think that's the maximum size I can get that at. Huh? This could be quite a slow live stream. I was going to make a video today. So I think we've got enough people here watching. Let me just have a quick check. Now YouTube make you press 100 buttons to do a couple of things, right? I can put the you live stream on here. Right, that's nice and quiet but can I see the text chat publicly as Tango Baldy and I'll type hello I am here ask for requests don't make sense or Let's chat. And we'll see how long that is before that appears on my screen over there. There we go, right, we know everything's working, everything's hunky-dory, I've got two likes. Shall I like my own stuff? That would be good, wouldn't it? Let's give myself a like and put live chat up. Problem is live chat disappears. Or we do stop messing around. Right, that way. Can you go that way up? Can't you just go upside down? Okay, as we have got six people here, eight people, going to get Brian's Chico roller because I know he's not here watching the people we got watching are Sally Sally watches all my videos um, someone like Pluto or something there's about three or four people they're, they're probably gonna start filling my channel with junk and rubbish soon uh, Asta's probably watching as well I mainly get people that watch me that hate me which is amazing why would you watch me if you don't like me but there you go. So Brian. Well, before we start on this um, Chico roller, I do have a few punch balls. We get, I'm going to, I've, I'll have a couple of punch balls which we can blow to pop or do something with. I'm definitely gonna keep at least four of them for another video. 
And then I've got these vacuum bags. Obviously, I can't really use these because I don't have a vacuum cleaner in the room with me. But I thought I'd just show you those anyway. They're going to be for another video. But over on the side, how about Pennywise? You give me a number between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Between 1 and 15. Let's have a couple of votes. I can't type. When I say inclusive, that means I can't type. The number one can be a number as well. So that's our first thing we'll do. We w we'll wait till Brian comes in before we start destroying his Chico roller. We could try it. Let's inflate it first. Number 13. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That jar at the back. It'd be number 13. Oh. Oh dear. Right, we're going to have to have another another number as well. Could someone else have another number? Because number 13 does not contain any balloons. But we can use it. Come on, don't be shy people. There's at least at least five of you in, in, in here. Or four, or three, or two, or one more extra person. All we're asking you is to type a number in. Is it because you don't want me knowing who you are? I'm quite just sure I can't. Yeah, they're all running away now, aren't they? Getting scared. Just decimated half my viewership by calling them out. Hi, Sally. Hello. Sally. <laughs> Asta. There we go. Someone wasn't was brave enough to shout out anything. Albert, I know it's embarrassing typing. I don't know who you are, but I'm just saying hello to you anyway. Don't be shy to type. It doesn't give away who you are and where you live, and you can create any name you want on YouTube. So asked uh, Albert has chose number six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four. Well, this one does have balloons in, and I think this is the most creative one out of the lot. I'm going to go and get a pen. I'm going to get a couple of black marker pens. I do struggle. My phone's decided to go to sleep. Yeah, I do struggle quite a lot to um, come up with ideas. So the person who chose first was Pennywise. Pennywise, get to dip into your jar. What's in? What is inside pet? What is inside Pennywise's jar? Purple fuzziness. Can you hear the purple fuzziness? Mm. That's quite tight there. I think the only time this has been out of the bag was to put it in the, the jar because it looked pretty and I've not ever found a use for it. So there's a nice purple 
pop that to the side and then the rest of it is orange I'm going to move this jar because these glass jars are very prone to breaking How would you get all of that into that jar? So there's the orange and Albert Rose, you chose the most interesting one because we have a tiny little silver balloon and a blue, a blue balloon, another blue balloon, a red balloon with something on it gonna have to blow this one up closer to the camera and oh these are the name balloons the ones you write on do you remember that we did this a little while ago so let's get those name balloons sorted so Albert Rose choose you get to choose a color that you like it's another gray balloon in there Shall I shuffle up? Would you like me to shuffle up closer to the camera? Let's get that close. That makes much more sense. If you can't move the microphone at the camera, then move the table closer. So I think that's probably good. Get a nice little shine on the head. That's the wrong color, the lamp. going to try something out on camera because I haven't done this before. I'm going to grab a couple of batteries out of here. No, nope, I'm not going to grab them now. Ah, it seems we only have one battery. This lamp here is going to have its power disconnected. Because I, I've got in my wish list some new lamps. Well, one lamp, that's all, just the one. Right, like a silver balloon. Oh yeah, I should have been a bit more precise, but yeah, you can have a silver balloon. So we put this down low. And put some batteries in it. have a look what am I looking at that one said about putting a light behind me like that I don't know what effects that's going to have apart from shine my Buddha belly so what about I think I'm just going to put it back in front I'm not ready for that yet because I've already got a light in front there Sorry guys, but I'm not a lighting engineer, so it does take me a little while to work out how to do things. What I see on the screen is very rarely Well, there's the Sally. Told you there was a Sally watching the channel. You see, that is too bright. Let me turn it down a bit more. So the new lights I want to get have a remote control on them, which is really handy because I'm trying to get just the right amount of light here and not just about the right here. Sally! Right, silver balloons.
So here we have some hairband essentials. How do you get them off? Why would I even have hairband essentials? Sure they were bought for some reason in the past. Do you know why I have hairband essentials? I don't even have any hair. So they can go back in there with my, let's get the, they've got sticky labels in there. Look. So you, Albert, you chose a very interesting jar. So the hair bands, I don't really need them. We might, I'll keep them out. And you wanted silver balloons. <laughs> wow, it's that. It's more grey than silver. Number seven. Well, num one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number seven would be this jar here with all of the um, multicolored. So we'll have that one for Pietro, number seven. So this is for Albert. So we'll write Albert on the balloon. And unless I turn all the way around like this, you are not going to see what I'm writing. Also, let's try. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. I've got insects all over me. I've been at a barbecue today. Hopefully, Albert, that's not in mirror writing. You. gonna stay gonna staple it to the wall I can't do that it's not good to staple it. I know this is only temporary this wallpaper this um this is oh, look you can't even see my face this is my temporary green screen because I didn't like all the black and white background it was too busy and distracting so I won't staple it because it will come in handy, that green screen. I do like having a laugh with it. It's mirror view. Right, left is left. Yeah, let me try. So you couldn't see what was written on it. Okay, let's try. should work now I think a lot of people when they do live streams do stuff in mirror view see when I go that left to my left that works and to my right yeah um, when they, when you do mirror view it stops people saying you showed my shop window or in you know or you showed an advert from another company on your channel so by putting it in mirror writing, that avoids that. I'm gonna put that there. So Albert, you will know that that balloon that's here is for you. So 
the end of the magic sellotape roll. Oh, I can take these down at the end of the string, but yeah, I will put that like that. A little bit of tape. Oh, you can just see it up the top. So it's the mirror view fixed, Pennywise. <laughs> of all the places I could stick it, I'll stick it above my head. It needs to go that way. Oh, it's sitting there like a little balloon on top of my head. That looks silly. Let's move it further along, about, about there. Next to the rather weird stain on the green screen. Okay, let's try. Oh, now you can't see it at all. This is why I need an assistant. If my son, who's upstairs playing Fortnite, could spare a few moments out of his busy schedule, we could save a lot of time. Have I got a stain on there as well now? Why has I got a stain on my top? Oh. So somebody asked, Albert asked for six. So what I'm gonna do for Pennywise, because I don't need to ask Pennywise, I'm just gonna get this balloon for you Pennywise, blow it up and write your name on it. Very tiny little gap. Oh well, I can't spell. That's meant to say float. Float. With an A. Ah, <laughs> oh, Pennywise. Goodbye, it's great for you to, put, to turn up. Is it in normal? Let's have a look, studio, live. Actually, if I look at the top screen, when I look at that, it will answer my question for me. Pennywise, as you are leaving, you don't get to go on the wall. Pennywise, your balloon is gone. And you were probably not here to watch that either. Oh, my little fingers in pain. Pain, pain, pain. So let's pop the balloons back in. My friend Pam did this for me. Should we send that to my friend Diane? Diane, I know you're not watching my live, you might not be watching my live stream, but this is for you. So I'm gonna send this now. go back on there so yeah this my friend Pam made me this she loves making me gifts I haven't seen her for months now since we've had the lockdown right who's who asked P P oh, number seven P 
Pietro. This writer named for balloon for Pietro. So we'll get you, we'll get you one out special, Pietro. Um, I've got green, orange, yellow, red, or yep. No, green, red's green, yellow, or orange. I think maybe, would you like a, a green one? Or red or yellow? We, what color we got on the wall? We got green on the wall, so let's have a bright color. You can have a red. inflated and what I'll do this time is I'll get a piece of this string if I can find a bit long enough probably not try a little bit on there in it tie not to try oh come on why can't I tie a knot in this balloon what am I doing wrong Remember when you first started to learn to do shoelaces up, how complicated it looked. Here we go. So we'll put your, my phone's gone off again. What is it? Is it because I wasn't playing the video? Am I missing something? I don't see any more. Let's go hi. Say hi to myself. We will have a P. Or we just have an, how about we have a number seven? We have a number seven. And then we'll write, let's give you a time to get eyes to focus on that. I'm thinking maybe next time I should live stream using my mobile phone. That could be worth having a go. And we will put your name on there. P.S. <laughs> chatting today I went on the train to a town near me called Biggleswade to have a pic not a picnic a barbecue you know that thing where you go and eat loads of meat that's burnt black and raw in the middle well basically that's what I did today it was lovely two liters of coke two liters of Pepsi Max or whatever it's called, I drank some lollipops, bit of cheesecake that was disgusting. I mean, all this stuff I bought, the disgusting cheesecake, that, that was my doing. You know, when those frozen ones that have never ever heard of cheese in their life, they're just called cheesecake. Yeah, that was really nice. And we had a lot of fun with, um, you know, the Amazon Alexa CIR. No pot. Is that a request that there's no popping? And the thing that's got me is tomorrow, it's the law in this country to wear a mask on public transport. And it doesn't have to be, you know, like a, a surgical mask, but just a mask. And I'm thinking to myself, P 
people have been travelling for nine weeks or more without them and then suddenly they go, well today, tomorrow sorry, you need to wear one. You know, I'm not, we're not here to discuss the weirdness of the world, are we? Here we go, put that there. <sighs> Mattia, Mattia, Mattia Vak, Vak, Mattia Vakiro, Mat Mattia, Mattia Vakaro, Vesaro, I don't know how to say your name. Are you, do you just get called Matty or Matt? Matt, choose a number between 1 and 15. So, Pietro, you got that. And also, I am going to blow you up. I think. I'm going to try and blow up three of these and put them in one of these balloons. That one's been. Oh, these are going to go a bit. They're not. That wasn't sealed very well, and I can tell by the feel of the balloons that they didn't like that. So let's seal these up. I'm quite sure I will not be able to inflate this with my mouth. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. These are the disgusting inflatables. I'll give you a bit of advice. I am not blowing this balloon up by, <gasps> Oof. I've found a way of blowing them up by creating high pressure in my mouth. Because if you blow these up by your lungs, you're gonna give yourself an injury. But. Even these reach the maximum of my capacity. Sally! Come on, Sally, let's be friends. I still love you, Sally. Gaslighting or whatever, it's just the way you are, and I'm the way I am. I forgive you for all those mean things that you've done to me that you will never admit to. So, I have stinking, filthy th fingers now. These are starting to stick together. Why do I have so many marble balloons? And I blew these up and put them outside. I put eight outside the other day, and by the morning they were just deflated and gone. Too big. That's good for me. This one I'm doing for Mattia. Oh, that doesn't look very good, does it? If this is a family-friendly channel, there's a lot of people going, Oh, Mr. Baldy, what are you creating there? Well, I'd like to tell you it's going to be a butterfly. And I've never made this before, so... Mattia... This... Ow! Ow! Ow. Mattia, this creation is for you. I'm gonna have to put the balls down. They're going to be the eyeballs. See, getting your finger out is difficult. Right, now. And that's the best I'm gonna be able to do. I call that an apple. I 
can put that right over to the camera so you can see what I've created at the end. See like an apple shape at the end. No pookie out there. So the next part will be these massive Kermanga eyeballs. Now what's gonna try and twist them in half? So let's try that first, just to get a different. What is going on here? I'm gonna have to do this one down here off the camera. This doesn't work. Let's twist it first then. There we go. So we've got half of that one on there. And then we'll do half on there. It's not going to work. Because this bit here. It didn't work. That definitely did not turn out the way I expected it to. to what my original plan was. I don't know what I was thinking about. If anyone's here, just stick a little comment in, you know, like, hello. Remember me? How are you? Or just write, I'm never watching any more of your videos, Tango Baldy, because you are so offensive and immature and arrogant. Can you not shout? Am I getting ready, dear? No, I'm not. You are arrogant. I wonder what the word arrogant means. Do you think, does anyone think I'm arrogant? Mm, there we go. That's, that's his eyes. It's definitely not how it what I expected it to be. I need to get some bigger straight balloons. And now the wings. Right, one, two. Oh, are the spammers in? Let's find out. This could get exciting. Hello, Temposes and Generation Gill. That is how not to make a balloon model. So we'll just put that on the ceiling. Is that too high? Way too high. Yeah, I'll put it there. I want the spammers and the trolls to join in. I need to get my book. Note, just get a little notebook. Guys, I'm ready for you. I have my pen and my notebook ready. Spammers and, tr spammers and trolls will not be banned today. 
and we have a new way of dealing with them but they're not they're not here I've, I've already dealt with a lot of them and I can't tell you what I've done but it's been so lovely to chat today hasn't it without them right um how long is the string at yeah 51 minutes 20 seconds and no trolls wow let's do a balloon for the trolls because i can guarantee you that what you're seeing on your screen is not what i'm seeing pretty much You're right, troll, low, low, low. Troll, low, 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 low. Troll, low, 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 low. There we go, look. Troll, low, 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 not here, low, low, troll. <laughs> oh. Gotta remember not to pop balloons. Nobody likes balloon popping. Tempozis and Generation Gill are probably the same person. And now I have really respect for them. There's a silver balloon. But I think we're probably at the, excuse me, at the end of blowing up balloons. I'd like to blow that balloon up just as a test in the jar. So we've got a balloon now inside of a jar against the other balloon. So we'll just leave that inflated in there and see how that lasts. Keep that one over there. And we have stickers. I don't know why I have got 648 stickers. Why would I have 648 stickers? Should I do a video of me sticking 648 stickers to a balloon? I don't think so. I'm gonna have a little tidy up because I'd like to demonstrate to you um, something lovely that you guys have, and girls and subscribers and non-subscribers have bought for me. And I've used it in one of my videos and I was rather impressed with it. Obviously not at first when I got it because I didn't know how to use it properly. There's a little relaxing clicker. Oh, I've got to unban someone off the channel and I'm not sure how to do that. JRB Gaming was banned from the channel the other day. So just give me a sec. They were banned by mistake. Let me just quickly go on to my YouTube channel and unban. Would you like, let me turn that around. You don't have to not look at anything. But you can look at me, oh, you're not looking at that. There you go. You can look at me looking at me. How's that? Let's go to settings, privacy. Keep all my save playlist private. No, advanced settings, user ID, custom. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Um, go on to my YouTube. If anyone knows how to do this, right? Settings, community, 
moderators, hidden users, there we go. There's quite a lot of them. Here we go, let's not hide this one. Just checking there's no one else on there that shouldn't be. I think it's Sammy is hidden because so many people are making channels in his name. Best thing to do if you've been banned on the channel and you don't want to be banned. Right, that's done now. Well, Generation Gill, obviously that's one of your new accounts. changing your you haven't been posting for years um, under that name because you've only had your well you've had your account for two years but you keep changing your account name I think see any fishies over there put that back like that oh, I think I'm done for there now So I need to get another jar and put this back. I don't know if I've lowered it too much now. Yeah, I always make mistakes like that. So if you wonder why I have 88.9K subscribers, it's because people like you either click the subscribe button or come and watch me. That's all I can say. Because if you look at it this way, if I knew why I had 88.9 subscribers, K subscribers, then I would have a million subscribers. Because I would know why I've got subscribers, which means I would then make my videos to suit the people. Anyway, but it doesn't work that way. It's just kind of random. And to be fair, Only a very small amount of those subscribers actually watch the videos. Well, not actually watch. So for example, if you've got 100,000 subscribers and you get 10,000 views, only a thousand of those will be from people who subscribe to you. And then you'll do another video the next day and you might get a thousand more people that subscribe to you watch, but it would be that could quite possibly be a different thousand, you know. So not every person will watch every one of your video, or not everyone. Most people won't watch every single video, and most people won't watch the whole of the video either. A lot of people just skip forward to see where the balloon pop bit is, for example, or the silly bit in the video. And, Unfortunately, they miss a lot of fun as well because there's a lot of hidden humor in my videos. Now nah, the sub bots are gone. If if sub bot, if I I'm not, I'm not paying people just to put a number up on my channel. I mean, I'm quite happy to hide my subscriber count. It's not it doesn't really bother me that much. The only thing that really worries and bothers me is the fact that it's really nice to get 100,000 subscribers 
because you'll know yourself as soon as you get a thousand subscribers you suddenly get a massive spike in your um viewers and that's exactly the same for a hundred thousand subscribers it opens up a lot more doors than when you got 99,000. Same when you get a million as well. You know, someone who's got um, a hundred, anyway, I don't want to talk about, I'm bored now. There is a lady here called Diane. She is absolutely fantastic. I can't say much because privacy, I'm not saying who she is, but she is a lovely lady and she deserves a balloon blown up for her but i've just packed them all up so how about diane i do something really boring because we've been waiting for brian to turn up and he's not going to turn up today so i said i'm going to chop his chico roll up because i don't like it This is so boring. Brian actually bought this. I didn't buy it. I bought one ages ago. <laughs> Diane, when can you remember when you first found this channel or you subscribed to it? You should WhatsApp video chat me and then you could be live. I can go, look. I started doing that for a little while ago, like putting people on um, live chat and things that it just got too much. I think I'm near the end of my stream. I am so tired. I've gone all the way to Biggles Wave. So I'm being sociable and I'm not a sociable person today. And then come back and just sat and talked for an hour. A whole hour, an hour of rubbish. One whole hour. Diane loves to hear my English accent in it, love. It's the only reason. For years she's been putting up with this. You all right? <laughs> I was around someone's house and they're trying to get Alexa to speak to them or do things. And they're not pronouncing their words correctly. And some of them are getting a little bit drunk as well. They're getting really cross with that. We'll find out where the hole is in this. Trash. What's, I can't even remember what I said the past few minutes ago. Where did that reference of trash go? Oh, rubbish. I can hear the air coming out. But I can't see where it's coming out. You can hear it like it's That's strange. This this gaffer tape's pretty good at sealing. Maybe I haven't sealed it properly. This is a massive hole there. Oh, no. Rubbish, yeah. Oi, Diane. Stop watching the telly and God take the trash out. <laughs> you should watch Diane 
driving her ride on lawnmower. She crashes into bins, trash cans, big ones, like our wheelie bin. We got the same, we got wheelie bins, we call them. And then she likes clearing out the solar lights. It's, look. It's just got a massive hole. But I can't work out where. If I could find out where it was. No. That air is from your ears. <laughs> I found the hole. If you can't find something, make it easier. There's the hole. <laughs> I found it. And it has little, see they've got even cheaper. When, that, when I bought, there's no rattles in them. The last one we bought, which I bought about five or six years ago, had hard plastic balls with little holes in, little jingly bells. There's no jingly bells anymore. Look, just put them in and nothing. Just little plastic balls, we'll keep those. Ryan. Fifteen pound this cost. Total junk. Well, Diane, if you ever come to this country, we will not be sitting here blowing up balloons together. Urgh. You need to get some more money. Buy something different for me. Because I had zero fun with this. It's too thin. Could have just kicking it around on the floor it burst. So that's rubbish. What about these little balls? Do they bounce? Well that one bounces. That one, that one. Nobody cares if they bounce, go away. So let's demonstrate this. Are we up to an hour? Yes, yeah. so I think we've streamed plenty long enough now. Yes, Diane, you can come and mow my fake grass on my doorstep. Do you want to see my fake grass? This is my fake grass doorstep. I want Diane. To come mow my yard. Got to learn. I've got to learn how to talk American. Diane, come and mow my yard. This. Is a gimbal. And you people, people who have watched the Tango Baldy show have bought this for me. And I am very happy. I did think I was gonna use it as a selfie stick, but I'll, I'll explain. I've purchased um, a thing to go on the back of my phone today, which is like another ring. Don't know if you can see that there. That's a sync wiring, it's really good. So it's a, li a little bit more flatter. And I've also ordered from the USA um, a new bracket to go on this. So let's just get that facing the right way round. So what I would do, I'm really scared of this. It's, oh. 
I don't know what's happening now. Let me just turn the screen off before I mess it all up. When you're touching all the screen. It, the problem is it's got a camera on and it unlocks to your face. What am I supposed to be doing? Is it go that way on? Like that, that's it, so it fits that way. This spring clip thing is, ow, it's sharp. Don't like it. So that, if you push it along, it's pretty balanced. It's only just balanced enough. So when that's done, you have to turn the Bluetooth on. I'm trying to unlock for my face, isn't it? So that's now unlocked. And if I go, I need to shut the, I still, he'll still tear it up, <laughs> tear my yard up, yes. We've got a lot of gravel around. So the first thing to do is turn the Bluetooth on. Okay, and then you switch this on and it should, did you see that straighten up? I'm not sure, and then you have to open an app and then connect, yes. Doesn't seem to do it now, that's facing the wrong way, the camera, so I need the camera to face me. See how long it takes just to do a, a simple thing? And then we put face detection on problem is it takes pictures unless you've got it recording it sits there taking pictures of your face there we go oh that's on now so I don't know if you can see that when I move my head to the right the camera even when I go upwards does it follow me yeah the camera will follow me around and eventually it's gonna have a bit of troubles because there's bright lights. But eventually, oh, it's 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 had enough. Look at that. It just said no. Oi, where have you gone? Oi, come here. I think that just didn't like it. If you tap it, what I'll do is I'll I'll face it to me now like that I think maybe it reached its maximum just bring it close to me and then put my face in there I don't know what I'm doing that's probably what it is so anyway you have it set up oh, it's definitely lost me again hasn't it let's, start, let's reset that again so you can use the joystick on it to tilt it up, is it? So you can tilt it up, you can go probably, that's probably as much as it'll go. Yeah. And then zoom out and zoom in. You can't see any of what I'm doing, can you? But I found the best thing, if you're trying to, you want to do one, two, three, four. So when I do that, it should stay. So, but there's a selfie stick. I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna be using it as a selfie stick. Cause it seems, it just doesn't seem to work. Maybe it's my hat. Oh, see that when I do that, it kind of works, but I, I I think what you need to do, no, has it reached its limit or something? Does anyone know how to use these? Uh, oh, this is why I don't take this out with me. So that's one click and that should allow me to do that kind of, get my face in. And that allows me to do that. I don't really know what it's doing. 
Does it? Is it face track? No, when it face tracks, it just goes like balmy. Look, it's really not right. I just need to find the right mode, don't I? Trying to. Okay, so what about if I put the camera there? That's what it is. I've got to have it in the right mode. But see if I can walk around the room. doing that what you did before where it was just I think you've basically got to... <laughs> I hate it stop it oh my gosh can you see it's just like going it's almost back to front now look so I put it on face tracking and I hold that in my hand and you can see that it just goes completely off If I put it on a table, it seems to be fine. But it's when you do face tracking and you have it held in your hand. So what I'm gonna do is turn face tracking off. I'm gonna put it in my hand. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Reset. Okay, and then press that down. And then I'm gonna do If I move that way, not I don't really know how to do it. Does anybody know how to use these with a self as a selfie stick? Because I can line it all up, but as soon as I start walking and moving my arm around, it's not the same. And you can't twist it to hold it level. We try number three. All right. Oh, it'd help if I was pressing the right buttons, wouldn't it? Right, this is four. I don't know what is there in there. Oh, so maybe number four, if I put that on on there, when my arm goes up, it goes up. When I go that way, it goes that way. So if I twist that that way, or that way, or that way, it will go, and then I can put it back. Right, so if I set this up as a selfie stick, now on that mode, when I turn my hand to the right, I can show something there, and then to the left, and then put it back. And if I want to look up, it'll look up, right. What about number four? Ah, see number four locks everything. So now let's try face tracking on number four. That tracks but nothing moves. It just loses it. So number three all lock. That's where it goes funny, look, when you put it on that, it goes all funny on you. Yeah, it come with like um, really weird instructions. If I stick it on the table like that, in that mode, let's tilt it up. That will track my head perfectly. It's hard to sort of show it, but if I move there, you can see it will follow. It's when I'm holding it in my hand, it just seems to get confused. So when it was on the table and doing a video the other day, it was perfect. But the problem is, the instruction manual comes in. I've got it balanced. Maybe I should use the um, app. But the thing is, how can you use... The, oh, you've got the app on the phone, haven't you? And now it's trying to take photographs of my face. Yeah, look, it's taking photos. <laughs> Why is it taking photos of me? Hmm. 
I need to just practice, don't I? But what I'd like to do is be able to hold that in my hands when I'm out and about, like that. Can we zoom out? That's already out. Right, tilt it down. It's like it gets stuck. Yeah, I'd like to hold it in my hand like that and for it to get my head. Let's see if that works. No, see, as soon as I get up and start walking around, it just goes a bit crazy on me. You see, like, the angle of it doesn't. So let's try one. No. Oh, I suppose that is, it's not, it's just like, look at the angle of the, the selfie stick. It's not even any, I put my face in and it'll level it. But I just want to put the thing up like that and for it to stay on my face wherever I'm going. As soon as I move my arm, it dis it loses me. Look, if we bring it back in, but in, in a normal selfie stick, you can just tilt the stick and capture yourself. So if you've got a camera on a selfie stick, you can just hold it there and swing it there, and it's got you. But if you try that on here, look, you you get your face in. So you get your face in like that, you think, yeah, that's great. But if you tried moving the camera that way, it loses your face straight away, look. See, look, the face is in the right-hand corner and it won't move over. Oh, here it is, nearly getting it. I suppose it's knowing what mode to be in, isn't it? If you move to the right, down, up. Yeah, I think this video is getting boring now anyway. So look, I'm gonna end the stream and I'm probably just gonna sit here and look at this and go, what am I doing? Right up and down. It may be that I'll just turn face tracking off completely. Try that. So that's zeroed it out. Bring that out. It doesn't help because it doesn't tell you what mode you're actually in. But anyway, that's probably really boring you lot to sleep. So I'll switch it off. And I'm, I'm going to wait till I've got my new mount come before I start trying to do selfies with it you know because it is really heavy and I don't want to do a stream get all that set up and then it not working but it works perfectly on a table for face tracking and, and I think the main problem is I just don't know what I'm doing with it because it's such a new device I don't understand what I'm trying to what I'm actually trying to achieve with it as a gimbal I think it probably works perfect but because I'm trying to do it I don't know <sighs> I will learn you know and the instructions are terrible I think what I'm gonna do is go on, on YouTube and have a look so guys and girls a bit disappointed that the trolls didn't turn up I was looking forward to that even had my little notebook out but nothing happened but yeah I will Thank you for putting up with my live stream today instead of a video. I didn't say I was out and about. But goodbye and be good.